A massive blood-red cloud suddenly blooms in the dead of space, stretching for thousands of miles. At its heart is a mysterious object, three Atlas, an interstellar visitor that just got a whole lot weirder. This is the first time something like that is observed, where there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun. Scientists aim their telescopes expecting to see the familiar tail of a comet. Instead, they were met with this, an eerie crimson ghost that vents gas at an incredible rate, but without any of the telltale signs of a normal comet. This new image doesn't just add a new puzzle piece, it flips the entire puzzle board over. Scientists recently got a fresh look at the interstellar object designated 3 Atlas, and the image they captured is the stuff of cosmic nightmares. Forget what you think a comet looks like. There's no gentle glowing tail, no brilliant white head. Instead, this new portrait shows a monstrous blood-red coma, a vast cloud of gas and dust shrouding a nucleus we can barely even see. This isn't just a slight color variation. It's a deep, unsettling crimson that astronomers have rarely, if ever, seen on this scale. The coma is immense, stretching out over 90,000 miles from end to end. To put that in perspective, you could fit more than 10 planet Earths inside this ghostly red halo. But it's not just the color that's causing scientists to lose sleep. The thing nobody tells you is what this cloud is made of. Spectrographic analysis, essentially a chemical fingerprint for light, delivered a result that was a complete shocker. The cloud is composed almost entirely of carbon dioxide, not the typical mix of water, ice, dust, and other frozen gases you'd expect from a comet, but a nearly pure CO2 emission. It's venting this gas at a staggering rate, 70 kilograms, or about 54 liters, every single second. That's like an industrial smokestack, pumping out invisible gas in the vacuum of space. An object venting that much material should be one of the brightest things in the sky. It should have a magnificent tail pushed back by the solar wind, stretching for millions of miles. But 3 Atlas has no visible tail, none. It's like seeing a massive fire with no smoke. This fact alone breaks all the conventional models of cometary physics. Comets sublimate. Their ice turns directly into gas when heated by the sun. And that process creates both the coma and the tail. 3 Atlas is performing the first part, with incredible gusto but completely ignoring the grand finale. The gas is just appearing, then lingering in this horrifying red cloud. It's a cosmic magic trick without a magician, and it's happening on a scale that's hard to comprehend. Many people are curious about what this means for other objects lurking out there. To make things even stranger, the core of this object, the nucleus, is a complete enigma. For a long time, based on its faintness, astronomers assumed it was relatively small, maybe a few miles across. But not all things are what they seem. New data from NASA's SphereX telescope suggests something far more massive. The latest estimates put the nucleus at a potential 46 kilometers, or about 28 miles. This isn't a space rock. It's a small world, an object that large, composed of what they assume must be frozen CO2 and other volatiles, should be lighting up like a Christmas tree as it gets closer to the sun. Yet it remains stubbornly faint, shrouded in its own bizarre bloody fog. It's too big, too red, and too weird to be a simple comet. So scientists are left with an image that makes no sense, and a list of contradictions that grows longer with every observation. They have a picture of something simultaneously hyperactive and mysteriously inert, rewriting the rules in real time and forcing a re-evaluation of what an interstellar visitor can be. Before this object became a cosmic headache, it was a source of incredible excitement. When three Atlas first appeared in our telescopes, it carried with it the promise of a once-in-a-generation celestial event. This wanderer was detected while it was still far out, beyond the orbit of Saturn. Yet even at that immense distance, it was already starting to brighten. Astronomers crunched the numbers, plotted its trajectory, and predicted it could become visible to the naked eye, perhaps even rivaling the brightest stars in the night sky. The hype machine went into overdrive. It was dubbed the potential Comet of the Century. But the universe had other plans. As three Atlas continued inward, it started to behave erratically. The predictable brightening began to stutter. It would flare up, then dim just as quickly. Its color and shape shifted, like a performer who couldn't decide on their act. This kind of inconsistency is a red flag for comet specialists. It suggests structural instability, a sign that the object might not survive the increasing heat and gravitational stress of the inner solar system. Then came the betrayal. 
Instead of blossoming into a spectacle, three atlas simply fell apart, or so we thought. Observations showed the single point of light fracturing into several smaller pieces. The great comet of the century had disintegrated before the main event. For the public, the story was over, but for a handful of researchers, the real mystery was just beginning. Even as it broke apart, the object refused to follow the script. The fragments didn't dissipate as expected. Instead, they continued traveling together in a tight, ghostly procession, each piece now sprouting its own miniature bizarre coma. This is where the timeline gets fuzzy and suspicious. The initial images of the breakup and strange behavior were studied, but the full shocking details, including the data about the massive carbon dioxide cloud, weren't immediately released. There was a delay. In science, data is often reviewed before publication, but this delay felt different, raising questions among some researchers. What did the initial data show that required such a long period of analysis? Was there something in those early readings so unbelievable it was initially dismissed as an error? When the new data was finally published alongside the now infamous red coma image, it recontextualized everything. This wasn't just a comet that broke up. It was a profoundly strange object that underwent some kind of transformation, and we only got the full story much later. The promise of a beautiful celestial event was replaced by a messy, inexplicable cosmic puzzle. It was never a normal comet. It was something else entirely, masquerading as one, using its journey through our solar system to reveal its true and baffling nature. To understand the mystery of three Atlas, we have to talk about where it came from, and the answer is we don't really know. What we do know is that it didn't come from around here. Its trajectory is what astronomers call hyperbolic, meaning it's not gravitationally bound to our sun. Our solar system's comets, like Halley's, travel in long elliptical orbits and always return. Three Atlas is a one-way ticket. Geert fell into our system from interstellar space and, after its brief chaotic visit, will be flung back into the darkness, never to return. That makes it incredibly rare. A messenger from another star system, carrying clues about the chemical makeup of a place we may never see. This is only the third interstellar object ever definitively identified. The first was Oumuamua, a bizarre cigar-shaped object that tumbled through our system in 2017, accelerating in ways we still can't explain. The second was 2i Borisov, which looked more like a conventional comet. And then there's 3 Atlas, like neither of its predecessors, in a category all its own. Being an interstellar visitor means it's been traveling for an unimaginably long time. Millions, maybe hundreds of millions of years, adrift in the deep freeze of space. During that time, the most volatile ices should have evaporated away. What should be left is a core made of stable materials like water ice and rock. But 3 Atlas turns that logic on its head. Its massive carbon dioxide outgassing suggests it's a relic from a very cold place. The problem is, it's almost too perfect a relic, like it was preserved in a cosmic deep freeze for eons, only to wake up upon entering our solar system. Some theories propose it's a fragment of a Pluto-like exoplanet, a world from another system shattered by a cataclysmic impact. That could explain its size and composition. Another more conventional idea is that it's just a different kind of comet, formed in a colder CO2-rich region of its home star system. But that doesn't explain the lack of a tail or the immense nucleus. Then there's a more mind-bending idea that its behavior might be tied to its structure or shape. What if the nucleus isn't solid but porous like a giant sponge? Or what if its breakup wasn't natural at all but mechanical? Three Atlas is a true outsider. It refuses to play by our rules. It's a ghost from a past we can't see and a place we can't reach. But as we stare at its impossible portrait, we have to wonder, is this really just a rock or is something else going on entirely?